Hello everyone. Welcome to Learn Knowledge. Today we'll be discussing about Angular directives. So we'll be discussing what is the directive, what are component directives, attribute directives, structural directives, and at the end we'll do one practice. So what is a directive? Directives are classes that add additional behavior to elements in your angular applications directives are basically components without a view so there are three types of directives in angular namely component directives attribute directives and structural directives i think for component directives and attribute directives you're already familiar if you are following our tutorials let's discuss what is a component directive so these are the most common directives in angular so you all know like how we create a component well angular provides a predefined command like ng generate component and then component name which helps us in creating our own component but if you see at the coding you will see it generates one class using some keyword like public class and your component name and it decorates that component class with at the rate component decorator so what this at the rate component decorator do it basically defines your component directives like what will be the selector selector is nothing but like one tag one html tag that helps you in your html to render its view and it also contains the template URL, your HTML code, and there's some style URLs, so which basically an array or different style sheets. So we already seen this thing, and we have used it to render our parent and child uh, component. So let's discuss attribute directives. Attribute directives listen to and modify the behavior of other HTML elements, attributes, properties, and components. There are three types ng class, which basically adds and removes a set of CSS class, which we write in our CSS style sheets, or maybe in your TS, TS class as well. Next is ng style, which adds and removes a set of HTML styles. Next is ng model which basically helps us to achieve the two-way data binding to an HTML form element. So if you want to dig deep in these, so we already discussed in our previous tutorials, you can go ahead and check those out. Now, for the structural directives. These directives are responsible for manipulating HTML layout. They change restructure the HTML DOM, which basically means it creates and destroy the HTML elements at runtime. These are the very strong directives of Angular. So there are three types. ng if, which basically works like an if loop. It conditionally creates and dispose of subview from the template. So based on some conditions, it creates and destroy a view ng4 ng4 it's more or less like a for loop so which repeats a node for each item in a list that also creates the view ng switch switch is more like a switch statement which is a set of directive that switch among alternate views so let's uh, do some practice into our next tutorial.